No, I seriously think about this every single day, and I'm sorry if I sound stupid. If somebody has $500 mm -hmm. and they've already paid taxes on it, and they give it to me, so now just because it goes from them to me, I also have to pay taxes on it, even though they, they just did. And then not only that, but anytime I spend one of those $500, I'm going to also pay another tax fee on whatever item I'm buying. And then whoever I bought the item from will have to pay taxes on the money they just earned from what I bought. So every single dollar... That's right. Just forget it. Good for you. Just 100 years ago, we would go to war for government to tax us. Today we say, yes, sir, here's my tax money on everything. We don't question it anymore. Keep questioning. Whoever this girl is, keep questioning. I like the direction you're going. I don't know if our people had any control of that over 100 years ago, how it went through eventually. Y'all was going to war, then y'all stopped because y'all came to an amicable, amicable agreement. But I ain't know. I ain't think we had. We was like three-fifths, maybe. Three-fifths. Mm -hmm. But, um... I think this I think this is the topic you presented, Trey. So um what's the uh what's the question or the kind of the speaking point of this topic? Cause this is a daily thought of mine. Like uh -huh. and we talk about it all day at work. Like I'm getting taxed on my paycheck, then I'm gonna get taxed on the money what I spend it on, and then it's, they go tax me at the end of the year. As far as, you know, income taxes, uh mm -hmm. federal and state. So it's like on top of inflation, your money your money already devalued before you get it. So, mm. what are what are we we really worth? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what is what is money? It's just I love it. I love it. Uh, that's what I want to know. Is uh, I brought this topic to mind because it's something that I think about quite often as well. I don't mind paying taxes. Like I don't mind the setup or the premise behind. You know. We given a portion of our earned income right to an establishment that we're under uh, to be able to account for necessities, supposedly. But here we are in 2024. This comes to my mind. Here we are in 2024 and you still don't have a choice over what you are paying what are you you know where these taxes are going you don't have no say so and as far as the video explains with that line of thought you're getting taxed on every transaction every everything that comes in and everything that goes out you're paying a tax on so i don't know how the country is in debt off of that premise alone mm -hmm. and i was wondering if anybody could enlighten me on the whole tax situation they're giving all that shit away to ukraine and shit and israel and all this shit people who ain't helping us with shit we ain't benefiting from nothing they doing that i know of that i know of either um yeah. and what the hell we get a hundred billion to send billion taxpayer dollars taxpayer dollars you tax it a billion people, one dollar. You got, you got a billion. You so got tax, it. Tax, tax them a hundred. <laughs> tax them a hundred. It ain't, it ain't that. They get that in a day, in a couple hours. Like it ain't, it ain't nothing. So where does it, where does it go? Where that's does the, it? Go? That's the age old question. When we still got potholes over here, we still got you know veterans that can't get housing, but people overseas need our help, and we just give it to them, give it away to them when we got shit going on over here. And our country continues to deteriorate, continues to become less attractive to one our own people and the outside world. So, I mean, don't get me wrong. Some people are still going to want to come to the U.S. because where they are is just, you know, much, much shittier. But uh, this this tax thing is really uh, it's funny. You, it's funny, Trey. You know, one of our partners, one of our people would tell us mm -hmm. taxes are voluntary. You mm. know, you can you can actually go to court and figure out a way to like not pay taxes, like. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> but um, <laughs> as far as where the money goes, I I don't know. I guess it, it's supposed to be the roads and the uh, and the schools, schools and it's damn sure not the schools, damn sure. Damn so. Uh, I I really don't know, Trey. I really don't know. <laughs> I can't I can't tell you. Um. Like, oh, the idea is, I guess it's how we're supposed to pay our um 
I wouldn't call them essential workers, but our first responders are policemen, mm-hmm. um, firefighters, um, some med- some medical folk. Mm-hmm. Uh, teachers the gov- government in too. Yeah, government salaries, I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess teacher salaries could be in there too. I mean, it schools, should be. I don't think I mean, it, it can't be if they got a fundraise and they, you know, begging to get more. I I think I think teacher salaries goes into state budget, but it also comes down from from state above state is federal, so it all trickles down into, you know, into I think teachers and the public and the public school system because it's not like parents are paying for their kids to go to public school. So um, mm-hmm. I th- I think that money is allocated uh, from the state level of government, maybe not the federal. Uh, I know a little bit about that from uh from my girl, but I, I still can tell you what if it's tax dollars or it's just, hey, we go print this amount of money, this is what y'all got to work with. Make it work. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> um, awesome, awesome. Um and I like the uh, I like to point out where uh the guy said that, you know, just a hundred years ago we would go to war. And I'm like, yo, that's literally mm-hmm. We ain't. We ain't. We ain't. Good that's shit. <laughs> that's literally how colonization, how America was created. <laughs> Y'all was running away. It was what taxation without representation. representation. Boston Tea Party and some other shit. You know, that was y'all wilding out. Y'all we wanted to get out. out. We wanted to get our hands off the cotton and just be able to pay taxes. We didn't care. It was. It was. That was the better option. Op- that was a better alternative, <laughs> pay taxes or pick cotton, you know. For what they was offering us at the time. But prior to that, we was straight, you know what I'm saying? Um, but y'all wanted to run from your own people just to establish the same principle. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. came over here and developed under the same guidelines. It's like, you know what, it's, it's cool as long as we the ones that, you know, and now you got all of this secrecy, all these secret societies and all that stuff. It's not really secret. You, know, you might not have a, a entry, uh, you know, might not be easy access, but it ain't really secret. You got all this stuff that seems like it's just happening. You no, know, it, it, I don't know all the behind the scenes. It ain't supposed to, but you no, know, y'all out there, it's it's some it's some puppet masters yeah. out there pulling the screens. The government is a corporation. They got to balance their budget, too, and this is just a part of it. <laughs> With taxes. <laughs> the government is a corporation. The USA, the United States of America is a America corporation is in itself. A corporation. Yes. Yes, yeah. it is. Oh. Yes, it is, bro. I don't I don't know if uh G you in the background or can we hear you? I guess not. <laughs> um, you just still G working behind the scenes, y'all. You get yeah. he getting it together. He'll be on eventually. Um but uh yeah. Far as what else? What's some of the things that come to mind, or some of the conversations y'all had when you discussing uh, taxes? One, I can I can speak from my own experience, right? Like, mm-hmm. for instance, we get we get a I work I work for a Fortune five hundred company, nice. and every I'm on the management side, and our incentive every year is a, a lump sum bonus. That we get every March, mm. um, it it can come in the form of cash, it can come in the form of uh, the company's stock, or go straight to your four hundred one k. But mm. whenever it leaves the financial institution, I think it's Merrill Lynch. Merrill Lynch, the it's granted to us one year, but we don't get it physically till the next year, and it happens like mm. that year in year out. But Merrill Lynch will release those assets or funds to us and then it gets but it gets taxed as it as it, as it jumps over into uh we use computer share or whatever mm. and then when you withdraw it from computer share into your personal bank account there's another tax on it <laughs> and then it's going to be added to your total gross annual income for when mm. they look at your um tax returns <laughs> so how much like, did you really get <laughs> like half half <laughs> <laughs> half i mean the the number looks it looks much more attractive before all the taxes come out but it's really you get half, mm-hmm. you get half physically and then it's like damn this not even 
a month's worth of uh of what I make anyway. Extra is right. just it's a, a couple of plane tickets and maybe some uh popcorn on the way. <laughs> <laughs> but uh at work is yeah, it's everybody talks about it like we we make a lot of people where I work, we make we make good money. And if y'all wonder where I work, it's on my shirt. If you can see it, fine. If not, I ain't go I ain't go promote it. <laughs> but uh manage management and and uh the people who are on the ground floor make great money. Like great gross. Like when I tell people my gross, I'm like, Oh, you did it, you six figures. Yeah, mm. I, I make sure I tell people I gross six figures. I do not make six figures. <laughs> I do not make six figures because when Uncle Sam come get his, hmm. it's it's like thirty percent. Thirty percent of that is 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 gone, and then you <laughs> back down with the in the in the five digits. So, mm-hmm. but your I mean, tax bracket is still up there based off of the gross. Off, yeah, off the gross. So yeah, it's it's all the front. It's all the front, yo. It's all the front. Whatever somebody <laughs> makes, when somebody say they make six figures, you gotta look at the taxes. Cause they're probably not a six figure person. Like, and I'm one of them. I, I'm one of them. I, I can admit that. Um, other than that, though, but like, like, like you say, we, we get taxed annually on our income from the government. We get mm-hmm. that to them. We gotta pay sales tax on groceries, anything we buy, uh, clothes, um, taxes when we play for plane tickets. It's like. Damn, what y'all niggas need? It's like a hundred people buying buying the same price ticket as I am for this plane. I don't think the gas costs that much. <laughs> like what 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 more do y'all need? Fee, fee fees are fees is a different thing. Fees is a different thing, but it's, that that can that can be incorporated. Same concept. Tax, yeah. Same concept. Same concept. <laughs> like any excuse to get an extra dollar off you, because if you do that, if you take a little bit from everybody, it becomes a lot. It becomes mm-hmm. a lot of money. But um yeah, I don't tax if if I think everybody would be a lot happier in the world if they were netting what they gross. Like just let me just let me keep what I what I earned. Like you said like I work for this money, why do I get taxed? I <laughs> I'm not mad at, I'm not mad at uh I'm not mad at uh Medicare or whoever uh wherever our money goes to pay for people's social security. That you know about. That I know about. I don't know who FICA is. I wanna fight him. I don't know who FICA is. <laughs> I just get a large lump sum of my check that goes to FICA. I need to understand what FICA is. I don't know who it is, but I want to fight them. <laughs> and then I, I, get, I get, I get, I don't know. I don't think there needs to be a, a federal and a state tax. Like, okay. Uh, two man, two man, two man today. It's all good. Um, <laughs> I don't Say think. Fight. FICA is a U.S. federal payroll tax and stands for the Federal Insurance Contributions Act and is deducted from each paycheck. So that's basically how government workers get get paid. Mm -hmm. Does that make does that make sense? Yeah. Federal Insurance Contributions Act. Mm hmm. Mm. The rate is 15 percent, 15.3 percent. Of our of our of our paycheck. Yeah, so, so, so each party, employee and employer, pays oh seven point sixty five percent of their income for a total FICA contribution of fifteen point three percent. So they taxing you and your employer at seven point six. So we covering half. We covering half of that percentage, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. All right, that made me feel a little bit better. That made me feel a little bit better. My <laughs> my company is too, even though. It, it's a lot less to them, you know. It's nothing to them to give that away. It's, it's more mm-hmm. to us. Um, <laughs> I'm about to say because I don't think there's that many people working in the government to where we have to pay 15. percent You know, your company involved or and you involved. That that's that seems like a lot. 15. percent You can that only yeah. goes into 100 like six times. <laughs> so you know, if you cut it into a pizza, that's one slice missing. You only got five slices of pizza out the pizza. <laughs> You know, <laughs> it's an evil world we live in. Yeah, evil world we live in. Um, I want to also do this. Um, I saw uh, it was a clip by Anna Swanson nigga, and he was like, um, 
he loves paying taxes. I liked his mentality, and I get where he was going. I, I, I feel like just, I know where you're going with this. Yeah. Go ahead. So it was like, I love paying taxes because basically, to simplify what he was saying, to simplify the, ke- the clip, he was saying that, you know, the more I have to pay means the more I've oh, earned. Man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So I love, you know, I love to see what it's at. And then, like, if it, if it's doing what it's supposed to do, then I am a strong contributor, right? You cannot tell me I'm not a contributing to this society in a in a in a beneficial manner when each check goes given seven percent. You know, you basically tithing. <laughs> yeah. You know, you're supposed to pay yourself first ten percent on a day. And everything else after that is necessity and we could break down a budget for you but you know it's just like okay um so i wanted to just bring that because i don't want it to sound like we just bitching about taxes we don't <laughs> yeah. mind we don't mind I, I can speak for me i don't mind paying taxes i just don't like being in a blind with it i want to make sure that it's going somewhere that i actually want it to go uh that i see a necessity and that it's doing something and I don't, I still don't have clarity on how people avoid taxes or paying taxes, uh, other than like, uh, like a capital gains or something where you owe. Other than that, and most people don't fall in under that category. So when they be like, "Oh, this section of this city, this zip code, they don't pay their taxes. That's why they like this." I'm like, "That's a." It's a falsehood. That's a lie. That's a, that's one of them. That's one of them white lies that y'all tell for us to look at this area in a certain way, when really y'all just not contributing or doing right. You know, it be it be some things in the background, and I've been in that background, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, I appreciate you sharing that perspective of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, he. I try I try to keep that mentality because it's like I, it could be a lot worse. I could be paying a lot less taxes, meaning I'm earning a lot less. Yeah. But it'd be like, damn, when you look at that, when you look at that last check you get in December and look you could look at the yearly amount <laughs> of what they took from you. You like, you know what extra I could have did with that money? Man. Could have been a couple extra vacations. I could have went overseas with that, you know. But I, I I am aware that it could always be worse. Like, yeah. like I say, I I said something about you know, gross and six figures, but not netting it. But still, what I net is able for me to allow me to do um, a lot and live a lifestyle that's that fits me and my personality. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. I, I'm sure a lot of people, the, the majority of people, wouldn't will want to be in that position too. So I'm not bitching about taxes either. Um, but like you said, the blindness and not really understanding the why to everything and mm-hmm. it's kind of why we kind of why we question you know what what the fuck is the money because you don't see it in our environment you don't see like you go down shaco bottom them potholes still down there mm-hmm. and you know when you see what they charging for commercial space and 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 rent <laughs> down in the closer you get to the city you would think like, all right, if if rent is this how you would think the roads are smooth as hell smooth as a baby's bottom come like, on I shouldn't get be getting nails in my tire and having to go plug it for ten dollars mm. um on Hall Street down the down the road a little bit. You know, I shouldn't have to go through that that maintenance. I shouldn't have my my soul just pause when I hit that pothole and you just keep riding your, your music skip and shit. You know, you don't see it in your Quiet. environment. Yeah, you don't see it in your environment. You still see it. I'm not I'm not gonna say it doesn't go to anything beneficial, but you would like to see it go to more of um to things of humanitarian of a humanitarian aspect like helping the homeless uh helping mm-hmm. veterans man you don't know how many uh, of these homeless people out here are veterans mm-hmm. and it's crazy they sacrifice the most they yeah. sacrifice their body their mind they their mental stability to go over yeah. here and fight senseless wars over shit like taxes and shit and mm-hmm. and they can't get any benefit when they come back it's kind of crazy I mean, you do get those benefits while you're in the military, like 
the people I know that have military benefits and working where I work at, they 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 live in large, you know, not large, but they live in comfortably. They're pretty comfortable because yeah. they miss a couple of days of work. Well, I got this to fall back on. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> like, I can miss a couple of days. I can miss that week. I can miss a paycheck because yeah. I got this residual income coming in. But yeah, uh, but I digress. Yeah, we we just would like more insight on where the money is flowing. Um, make it visible to the public. It probably would make people uh, feel a lot more comfortable, more incentivized to contribute, be yeah. contributing members of society. Maybe if if we knew where it was going, especially, you know, some, all the different places it could be going. There's a, a huge group of people that are willing to, to gravitate towards that and help out with that cause, especially here in Richmond with all our, you know, liberal arts, mm-hmm. you know, sp- outspoken youth, I would say yeah. that, like the BCU crowd and all that. They, I love it. You know, they, yeah, I, I do too. They brave, you know. <laughs> they brave. I love it. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, y'all, con- y'all, con- yeah, yeah. Go ahead. You about to say something? I was just gonna uh, speak to you in your language real quick. I looked it up. Uh, even though stats are not facts, it says only eighteen percent. Eighteen percent of Americans earn six figures or more yearly annually so you're doing very well my brother yeah you're doing very well man i just wanted to highlight that i appreciate it don't don't you ain't gotta tell the world (laughs) 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 i appreciate that though bro i appreciate that um try and get try and get to the top two top one that's the next step you know but i am i i am thankful for where I am, man. I'm never, because like I said, it could always be worse. I could always go back to where I was, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, any more closing statements for this episode? Uh, no, I think we pretty much cover it. Y'all, if y'all watching, y'all comment, let us know how y'all feel about taxes, you know. Yeah. Um, respond to anything we said that you think we, we could have a different uh, direction of thinking on. Mm-hmm. Um, like I said, we're not trying to be up here bitching about taxes, but it's something we all as humans can relate to, especially when you're a working adult. Taxes <laughs> tax, taxes affect all of us. Most all of us. All of us. Unless you're Wesley Snipes. But um <laughs> <laughs> they they kept they they kept that's another thing. You can't you can't duck dodge the government on that. You can you can be El Chapo and escape from jail and dig some tunnels and escape physically. But mm-hmm. they'll find they 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 don't lose trail of that money. <laughs> they don't lose trail of that money. They don't. <laughs> they will come find you, like on some Liam Neeson ne- 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 type shit. They keep that. They keep that shit a record. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. they don't miss. They don't miss. A, they don't miss a penny, bro. They don't really miss a penny. The IRS. Mm-hmm. That's the most gangster mob we got. In the you know that's country. not a. Uh, that's not a, they. Is going to be giving too much information, but they're not a government uh, structure either. They're private, private sector. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And so it's like, who we paying for? What? Yeah, you know I'm saying <laughs> the mob, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> I swear hey, they be you... just throwing numbers out the ass every time I pay them. They be like, oh, you know what? We actually got you. You got to pay this one too. Pay this one too. Like, <laughs> where this one come from? <laughs> Lying ass. Show me the receipts. <laughs> Exactly, it's extortion. <laughs> That's what it is, extortion. I'm saying. <laughs> but we got to uh, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, so far, so good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, we're running a bit late tonight, but we're gonna make it work. If anything, we're gonna make it work. Yes, so sir. we about to. Um,